I'm not asking you. I, I appreciate your openness, and I don't want you to be self-censoring. Uh, when I did the uh, when I did my social engineering in 2004, I ended up facilitating a uh, four state environmental educators workshop in Nebraska City, and the key message there was uh, encouraging rough ground experiences before age six. Uh, activities that provide a, 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 a individuals with a, a, a strong sense of community and a sense of place. Do you have any thoughts about that in terms of uh, the, the, the shifts you've seen in the students that you've had over your, uh, your career? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, let's go back a step. The basic problem is these kids don't know if there's that other side out there. American kids are spoiled rotten, and the only the best way to learn is to go into it themselves and, and find out about it. And that's what I would love to love. That's what I loved doing with kids in the summertime. Okay, and I so did it for many years. You may have been the uh, the, the pioneer that uh, 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 inspired Richard Louv to write uh, Last Child in the Woods, which is dealing uh, now with uh, uh, ways to counteract uh, nature deficit disorder. And yeah. uh, and I don't know the book, but. I'll have to I have to get it for you. We're, we're we're using it with the Caw Valley Heritage Alliance, but we're we're going to see some federal legislation probably this next year that's under that's running under the banner "No Child Left Inside." Uh, and so, what you really were describing in terms of your overseas travel was uh, contact with an alternative real world rather than the 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 the, 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 the uh, man-made virtual world that we tend to. To wrap around ourselves. Oh, we're so insulated by our two oceans, it's pathetic. Now that's an interesting perspective. If we were to perceive our uh, North America as a as a, as an island rather than as a landmass, how would that change our uh, uh, sense of interdependence? Well, we'd have to learn to jump those puddles. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I remember TWA saying, come fly with us across the Atlantic River. Uh, from that time on, it has changed, but it's not fast enough. We're not doing it uh, near fast enough to really do much good. But getting back to the guys in the prison, they don't know anything about our normal society. They've grown up in such horrible conditions that they're like the communist kids coming out of Yugoslavia. They had to lie to live. Mm -hmm. They had to cheat. They had to hurt other people, and that was the values that were put in them by their conditions. And I think those values can be changed. I think you're. I think you're definitely onto something. Uh, I had done a uh, uh, an investigation analysis at Lionel Lake's medium security prison, uh, north of the Twin Cities, uh, and uh, encountered some of the medium security prison inmates who. Uh, were uh, doing prison-based work in order to be able to take additional credit from Metropolitan State University courses from Metropolitan State University. And one of the brighter bulbs in that, that group uh, who had you know, uh, some pretty amazing skills, uh, technical skills working with computers, uh, said, I, choose to, I, I tend to look at life like it's a zero-sum game. Uh, and had uh, essentially uh, a, a very much entrenched win-lose mindset, which tends to uh, discourage collaboration and cooperation. Do you see things in our current society that tend to, to, to reinforce that zero-sum game mindset? Well, if I'm understanding correctly, yeah. It's like the kid who's born into a family who have live on a one-way street with no intersections and when a decision has to be made there's no choice and thus the purpose of education the more choices you have when it comes time to make a decision the freer you are and i think that's the basis of freedom that's a really interesting can you ex tell me more about that line of thinking well i've always thought that way uh because many of us have had jobs that required a university diploma. But we could have done it before we had the diploma, but you had to have that piece of paper to open the door. 
And so the more education you have, the more doors there are to be opened when the decision has to be made. And that is the basis of free, of being a free person. Okay. Having more choices when a, when a decision has to be made. Sounds to me like you sort of uh, directed yourself to be a lifelong learner. Would, would, would that be a fair? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I just am, am sad now that I've gotten to the point where I really can't get involved in a lot of that because I don't have the, you know, without the leg and I can't use the prosthesis. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of stuck. One of the things that uh, uh, excited me about Kansas, at least in terms of uh, innovations in computing and communications was that uh, you know, looking at Kansas from the virtual north coast I saw that uh, Kansans were pretty pragmatic in terms of creating uh, shared resource systems like the Kansas Bureau of Investigation uh, uh, network for sharing information amongst uh, law agencies and I'm, uh, in 2003 I became acquainted with uh, uh, an inspired educator from Hutchinson, Kansas that worked for ASDAC that was describing the Kansas Education Network uh, uh, as empowering tech-rich classrooms. So uh, what I'm seeing is a, uh, a wave of uh, innovation in, in, the, in the delivery of content uh, across a much broader spectrum than, than would be allowed for if you were relying exclusively on busing uh, you know, to the uh, uh, to the uh, uh, nearest USD school. Yeah. In fact, down the street from you here uh, at Centennial School, there's virtual, the school. virtual. Have you talked to Jackie Rigo, who's yes. the marketing director, yes. about that? See, when Skyler and I went to Sri Lanka two uh -huh. years ago, he they kept him up on his schoolwork while we were there with a the computer. Did he have some pretty favorable responses to that, 